Hello friends, welcome back to the Node-RAID tutorial series. As of now we have learned how we can install Node-RAID and connect to AWS IoT Cloud using MQTT. Now let's see how we can enable Node-RAID to work as a gateway for industrial protocol. In this particular tutorial I am going to cover how we can use Node-RAID for OPC UA server as well as with client. So OPC UA is an industrial protocol which is used for exchanging data between devices. So let's see how we can utilize and configure this in the node So first we need to install the palette of the OPC UA. For that we need to go to the palette manage palette and go to the install. In that one we can type OPC UA and then we will get a lot of different libraries which we can download or install. So I am going to check for node red country OPC UA which is uh, one of the old library which is there so when I click on the install it will take some time to get it installed it on the device so once it will get installed we can see that all the nodes will appear and it will also show in the nodes part as an installed library so if you see here in the nodes it will show here as a installed one for the OPC UA and it will show all the nodes which are present in the library which we can see also in the node manager where all the nodes are there so here if you see in the OPC UA all the nodes are present now uh, first we will do it and configure it for the OPC UA client so in order to do on configure the OPC UA client we need to use uh, OPC UA client node so before that I am setting up uh, one OPC UA server so I am utilizing here uh, Vogo PLC and the codices IDE so in the codices we need to configure the symbol configuration and we need to add some variable so that when we download the code into the PLC it will enable the OPC UA server so once we have configured the symbol configuration we will define here the signals so I'm defining here one analog signal and one digital signal so var1 as real and var2 as boolean so once these signals are defined let's so build the uh, once the code is builded then we can see that signals are appearing in the symbol configuration and then uh, we can download the code into the PLC so in the Vago we have option also for the device security so we need to provide a device uh, username and password so once the code we will download once it is get downloaded uh, we will go into run mode so that the OPC UA server is started and it will exposing all the signals which are defined in the symbol configuration so and here in the web management we have to also enable the OPC UA server so now uh, we will go to the node red and we will drag and drop the OPC UA client where we need to provide the server address so we will add a new server so here uh, we will give the IP address the URI basically we need to create so opc.tcp uh, and we need to create the whole endpoint URI so opc.tcp and then the IP address of the PLC and the port number which will consist with all combining will con make a URI of the endpoint so security policy and security mode uh, we can select as of now none because our security is selected as a none in the PLC OPC US server side if it is selected for user authentication then we have to select here the user authentication if it is selected for the certificate then we have to certificate use the certificate now what kind of action we want to do so we want to read the data from the OPC US server so that is what I have configured so these are the two basic configuration which we need to do and uh, let's uh, put here to read the value we need uh, so let's put it into the debug mode so we will see whether at least it is able to get connected first or not so let's deploy the code so 
once the code is deployed we can see that it is going to connecting and it will provide the status where exactly it is so still it is in connecting mode so sometime it takes a little time to get connect and maybe it will not even connect because of some issue so we are seeing some error in the debug so we find that okay it is not able to connect so why exactly it is not able to connect to the plc we have selected there as anonymous and here also anonymous but it is not connecting uh, let's debug it so if i go back to the plc and and download the code again or go log into the plc so if we see here we are, are allow us to put the device username and password so this particular device username and password whatever we are putting here in the vago site so maybe in different plc it will not even ask but the plc which has some uh, device username and password for that what we need to do once we download the code and the server get started we need to also provide the same username and password to connect for the opc us server so that is why it was not connecting so in some plc it is happening and where we have the device username and password we need to utilize that in some plc where we don't have we it will not even ask it will connect on the directly on the anonymous part without any security security as well so now it is in run mode let's go back to the node red here we will configure again so we will change it to use the credential and provide the username as admin and the password of the device whatever we have configured so same password and username we will put and make it configuration done and then deploy it again so once it get deployed let's see it is going into connecting mode and then if you see it is active session is active so session has been created okay so once the session is created now what is our next step is next step is to read the data from the plc so let's uh, find the one node so that is opc ua item so we will drag and drop the opc ua item where we need to configure the node address to read the data from the opc ua server so here if you see we need to provide the item details the node details basically node id so for getting the node id either if you know otherwise we can use the ux port and we will connect it uh, to the opc ua server using ux port so here also if you see it is asking for the credentials so that is what i'm giving and once it is getting connected and then we can go to the variable which which we want to read so var1 which is a real data type so it will and for that we can drag and drop into the data access view and copy the node id so copy the value directly so once we copied the value so node id we got now same node id we will utilize it in the node red opc ua item so let's double click and put it here the node id and select the data type which is float and we'll give it a name so once all these configurations are done then uh, let's uh, put it with a uh, timestamp to inject to read uh, this data and here everything is okay and to show the value i will utilize a node called show value so let me drag and drop here so whatever the data is coming it will be shown in the show value so i don't have to go into debug mode every time so let's deploy the code so it is going in session active let's uh, trigger the inject so if you see here i am able to read the data from that particular node id okay so let me change this value into the plc and then again we will see so right now it is zero 
so I will change it to 10 so once I change uh, let's see here it is going to update or not because it is not getting updated because we have the we have not injected so once we inject it will get updated here so whenever we change uh, the value we have to inject the node why because we have a read we have configured action as a read so read will not happen automatically we have to keep uh, injecting uh, the node to read it okay so we have another option as an action is a subscribe so for the opc ua there are multiple actions which we can configure so we will configure subscribe subscribe is a kind of action where we subscribe to a particular node and whenever there is a change in the node value it will automatically get updated so right now if you see uh, session is active uh, values the last value what we had given and now we will change the value so once we change the value if you, if you see active subscribed okay because we have subscription model here so whenever we change the value whenever this update in that particular value it will get updated automatically so there is uh, no need to inject the node keep injecting the node after some interval okay so that is the difference between uh, subscribe and read okay so that is what the difference so in the read we will always inject to read the value in subscribe once we have subscribed whenever there is a change in the value it will automatically read it back so this is all about the read uh, so let's uh, go and configure it for the right part so when uh, for the right uh, we will configure the same uh, kind of uh, logic so opc ua client uh, we will have the opc ua items and show value and timestamp okay so var2 uh, by data type for var2 is boolean and the node id will be just updated with the var2 so this is what my opc ua item is and in the opc ua client i will write action as a write so when i need to write to that particular node then i will do the inject the that particular node okay so i will change the value to true because it is a boolean so what value i need to write so true and then another node i will create which will be false so let me connect it and make this as a false so i will configure it as a false so now this is done so let's deploy the code so once we will deploy so i'm just putting the comment that it is for opc ua communication uh, right with the right value here so once we deploy okay so it is done and now uh, we can inject the node for true and false so one whenever we change the data uh, we will be able to see here uh, the value will get changed so right now it is false and i injected true so let me bring it back so yeah you can see that here the value written is true and when i make it false it will become false so in this way we can uh, read and write uh, the values from the opc ua client and, and to the opc ua server from the node thread okay so uh, this is how we checked for the opc ua client part now let's see how we can configure the opc us server so noted will be opc us server and we will have a, another client so here i have created the project program for opc us server part so what we need to add it here is the opc us server node and then we need to configure it so once we have the opc us server then we need to provide here the port number so we need to basically make a endpoint so for that we need a port number so number any number we can provide here we have a name we have the resource path and then the user file and then we have all the selection checkbox which, is, which we need to check so it is pretty e easy to configure the opc ua server in this so everything is mostly uh, just 
checkbox pattern so we can be able to select and uncheck so once this is configured we can provide and we can deploy the code so here the examples are given uh, which will show you how we can add any new variable or we can create uh, the variable part uh, the equipment part so how exactly we can create the structure so for example i have done here for the variable addition so what we need to do is we need to provide a opc ua command into the message payload and we need to provide the opc UA command as a add variable now what will the message topic that we need to provide the node id what node id we want to provide so n is equal to 1 s equal to var 1 and data type is double so that will be the message topic and then return the message so this is the function which i have written so once we inject this particular function this variable will get created into the opc UA server and which we can be able to fetch it into the any opc UA client so this is another example for the creating a structure where we have a add equipment and the equipment name is machine so this is another example okay so in this way we have configured the opc UA server and now let's check with uh, any OPC UA client. So here I'm using OPC UA expert as OPC UA client and when I'm browsing the endpoint URL I can see that the device is showing as a node red OPC UA server and then uh, I'm trying to browse all the items which are present and then uh, I will select none as I'm doing as for anonymous and then when we click on the connect then uh, your certificate we need to accept and then it will get connected so once it get connected it will show here that uh, server is connected to uh, one of the client and that client details will come and then we can see that we have the variable called var1 okay so var1 is there so let's uh, put it to a device access and now we can see the value is zero so here again same i uh, just change the uh, endpoint URL which will be now targeting to the node red office US server and when I change the value if we can see that the value is getting changed so in this way we can configure uh, the OPC US server also in the node red and we can utilize it for exchanging the data from node red to another devices How so let me show you uh, the another structure uh, which we had injected so where uh, if we can go to the vendor name we can see that we have an equipment added and inside equipment we have all the machine so number of time i have triggered uh, we will trigger that much number of time the uh, equipment will get added and so if we see we have like uh, five instances of the machine so yeah that's all for this thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one